Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve numericals based upon the derivation of the unit hydrograph from the given unit hydrograph. So let's start. So the first problem it says that convert a two-hour unit hydrograph to a six-hour unit hydrograph for the given discharge values. So at the different durations of the time, the discharge values for the storm that has been given. So initially, if we plot the curve, so this is the y-axis on which the discharge is shown, and on the x-axis we show the duration. So at the zero time there was zero discharge. Then at two hours the discharge value was five. So this is the five value. Then at the four hours this value has raised up to eight. So let's say that point is here. Then at six hours duration that value is fifteen, which is somewhat here. So let me just remove that. So if we plot all the values here. Then corresponding to the next duration. So as we know, the hydrograph is a plot of the discharge versus time, on which the discharge is shown on the y-axis and the duration is shown on the x-axis. At the zero time, there was zero discharge. At the duration of the two hours, the discharge is five units. Then at the four hours, this value has raised up to eight. Then at six hours, this value is fifteen. Then at eight hours, this has again reduced down to seven, and then for ten hours, this is again zero. So if we connect all of these points and plot a curve, this is representing the two-hour unit hydrograph. So this is the two-hour unit hydrograph for the given values. Now, in the given values, the hydrograph is also to be mentioned. So, the duration of the rainfall that was for two hours, and the rainfall depth that was one centimeter. Now, because of which the intensity will be one centimeter by two hours, that is one by two, or that is point five centimeters per hour. That is the value of the intensity of the rainfall. Now we know that two and six, the six hour is a multiple of the two. So this six can be written as three into two, where three is an integer and not a fraction. So for such values, when we have to convert from the given hydrograph to the another unit hydrograph. Having the integer as a constant value, so what we do in that case, we assume that one more rainfall of two hour has occurred. So if that is also two hour rainfall, so it will again be unit hydrograph. So it will again be having the rainfall depth as one centimeter, which will start from the two hour and will be same as the first one. Then we plot the third one, which is again for the two hours, having the one centimeter depth, which will again start after two hours of the storm. So in this way, we will be having three two hours unit hydrograph, which in total will be six hour unit hydrograph. So corresponding to these values, we will be having one unit hydrograph, which will be like this. Now this will be six-hour direct runoff hydrograph because the total depth that has occurred now that is one, one, and one. So the total depth which has occurred that is three centimeter. So to have the unit hydrograph, we need to divide the all the ordinates of the unit hydrograph by the three centimeter value. So how do we proceed in that? So first of all, we will write down the time, then The discharge for the unit hydrograph. So let's say that is U1. So for the given values, again we will draw it. So for zero, this value is zero. For two hours, it is five. 
then for 4 hours it is 8, for 6 hours it is 15, for 8 hour it is 7 and for 10th hour it is again 0. Then increasing the values of the time scale that is up to 18. Now for the next unit hydrograph we have to lag it by 2 hours. So lagged by 2 hours we get the value of U2 because the next hydrograph that started from the 2 hour duration when the first 2 hour unit hydrograph it has cooled down. So the first has to be left then the if we lag it by 2 hours so the value which was occurring initially at 0 it has to be come at 2 hours. So it has to be lagged by one value so this will be the result that we will be getting. Then again this we have done for 2 hours and 2 hours for 4 hours to convert it into 6 hours we have to lag it by 2 more hours. So lag by 2 hours so we will get the U3 ordinates. So first it was lagged then again it has to be lagged and this value will be written here. So if we check from the first one it is a lag of the 4 hours. So it will be now 5, then 8, then 15, then 7 and then 0. These are all the values that we have got for the 3 2 hour unit hydrographs. Now if we total them, so the U1, U2 and U3, U1 plus U2 plus U3, each of them is the 2 hour unit hydrograph. So if we total them, we will get the 6 hours duration. But this will be the direct runoff hydrograph and not the unit hydrograph. Because here the excess rainfall is not equal to 1 cm. So first value will be 0, the next value will be 5, the next value will be 8 plus 5 plus 0 that is 13. Then corresponding to 6 it will be 28 the next value will be 30, then 22, then 7, 0 and no values. Now to convert it into the 6 hour unit hydrograph, now to convert it into 6 hour unit hydrograph, what we have to do? We have to divide this, these ordinates by 3 cm. So 0, then it will be 5 by 3, then 13 by 3, then 28 by 3, then 10, then 22 by 3, 7 by 3, 0 and no values. So if we plot all of these values that will give us the unit hydrograph for the 6 hour duration and here this 10 value that is representing the peak discharge for the unit hydrograph. So if we plot them, this is again the discharge versus time curve. So for the zero duration, it was zero value. For the two hour duration, it was five by three. So let's say that is value here. For four hour duration, it is 13 by three. So that is, let's say here. Then for six hour, it is 28 by three. So that is somewhat here than for 8 hour than for 10 hour so 8 hour is representing the peak runoff and this value is 10 cubic meters per second so this is the peak discharge and this is the 6 hours unit hydrograph and it will be 0 at 14 hours so this will again be 0 value. So that is how we obtain the unit hydrograph from the unit hydrograph of the given duration. So that was very simple. You have to just lag by the integer value that you are getting. Now the next problem it says that for the two storms of each 6 hours duration and having the rainfall excess value of 3 cm and 2 cm. That means 
uh, there we are not talking still about the unit hydrograph they respectively occur and they occur successively that means one after the other that is how we write the successive results now the 2 cm rain that has followed the 3 cm rainfall so first this has happened that is of 3 cm rainfall after that 2 cm of the rainfall has occurred now we have to compute the resulting direct runoff hydrograph and the 12 hours unit hydrograph the values for the 6 hour unit hydrograph for the catchment has been shown so what we will do here for the different timestamps we will calculate all the values so for the time this is the unit hydrograph of the 6 hour duration that has been given now this unit hydrograph coordinates that has been given the values which are provided for the runoff of the unit hydrograph that is for the 1 cm of the excess rainfall while the storm which has occurred that is of 3 cm. So to obtain the direct runoff hydrograph from the unit hydrograph we have to multiply with the effective rainfall then we will get the direct runoff hydrograph so this is the 3 cm direct runoff hydrograph so starting the time from 0 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 24 27 30 33 36 39 okay so the corresponding value for the 0 that is 0 again then for the 3 hours it is 25 then 50 then 85 then 125 160 180 or rather it is 185 for the 18 hours now as you can see from the data this has jumped by 6 hours so the middle value that has to be interpolated so for 21 the value will be in between these two and if you average them out the value that you will get that is 172.5 and for 24 hours it is 160 for 27 hours this value will be 135 then again for 130 this value is again given as 110 then for 33 value this will be 85 and for 36 it is 60 and for 39 it will be 48 now this is the ordinate these are the ordinates of the unit hydrograph now for the same ordinate if we want to obtain the 3 cm direct runoff hydrograph we have to multiply with the effective rainfall which is 3 cm so the first value will be 0 then 25 into 3 that will be equal to 75 then 150 then 85 into 3 that is 255 then 375 then 480 then it will be triple 5 then 172.5 into 3 that is 517.5 then 480 and 135 into 3 that is 405 330 that is again 255 then 180 48 into 3 that is again we will get the value as 144 so that is how we are getting the 3 cm direct runoff hydrograph. So first this rainfall has occurred that is of 3 cm. Once this has passed after that the next rainfall has occurred. Now what you have to keep in mind the 2 cm rainfall has occurred once the 6 hour duration of the 3 cm rainfall has passed. So for the 2 cm direct runoff hydrograph we have to obtain the value so first six hours has to be passed so so for zero three and the zero value will be coming at the six hour because 
the 2 cm rainfall started at the end of the 6th hour. So for the 6th hour this value will be 0. Then the next value will be 25 into 2 because now the effective rainfall is 2 cm and not the 3 cm. So the first value will be 50, then it will be 100, then it will be 170, then it will be 250, then it will be 320, then 370, then 345, then 320, then it would be 270, then 220, and the last value that will again be corresponding to 85 so it will be 170 that is how we have got the ordinates for the 3 cm direct runoff hydrograph and the 2 cm direct runoff hydrograph so one of the component of the problem that has been solved that is calculate the, the resulting direct runoff hydrograph so if we add up these two ordinates so we will get the 5 cm of the direct runoff hydrograph but that will be of 12 hours because 6 hours each so it will be for the 12 hours. So the values will be 0 then 75 then 150 then it will be 305 then 475 then 650 then it will be 805 then it will be 837.5 then it will be 850 after that it will be 750 then 650 then 525 then 400 and then again that will be 314 now these are the values which we were looking at that is the 5 cm of the direct runoff hydrograph which is the resulting direct runoff hydrograph. Now from this if we want to calculate the 12 hour unit hydrograph so we have to divide all the values by 5 cm because we have to convert it for the 1 cm value that is the meaning of the unit hydrograph. So it will be 0 then 15 then 30 in that way we will move ahead so 61 then 95 then 130 then 161 168.33 then for 850 this value is this is 170 then for 75 it is 150 then for 130 then it will be 105 then 80 and then 62.8 these are the ordinates of the unit hydrograph for the 12 hour duration so if we plot them for the discharge versus time this is the discharge versus time so initially what we were having that was the 3 centimeter of the 6 hour direct runoff hydrograph so this was the 3 centimeter but for the 6 hour direct runoff hydrogram. Once it stopped, then we plotted the 2 cm of the 6 hour direct runoff hydrogram. Now, the combination of these two results that has yielded us the 5 cm of the 12 hour direct runoff hydrogram. And utilizing that, we have obtained the value for the 1 cm 12 hour unit hydrograph and that was desired of us that is we have moved in this direction now all of this was easy to calculate when we all of this is easy to calculate when we are having the given duration let's say that is the d hour and we want to calculate the T hour unit hydrograph. Here the T by D ratio was M where M was an integer 
but if this t by d value which is m if that is not an integer then we cannot use the superposition method in that case we look at the new method which is known as the s curve method which was given by the different scientist so in the next video we will take a look at the derivation of the t hour unit hydrograph which is not an integral value of the d hour unit hydrograph and for that we will refer to the s curve thank you